Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Hey there, AstroVenturers. Welcome back. If you're new to this astrophotography channel, my name is George, and this is the astrophotography channel for DSLR and mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses we already own and a simple star tracker like the Skyguider Pro or the Star Adventurer. Well, it's time to give you an update on Comet ZTF E3. And I first told you about this comet back in October's uh, night sky targets. And I mentioned that this was coming up and I wanted to put it on your radar. Well, we're closing in because here we are uh, coming up on the middle of December. And the date that I recommended for you to photograph this comet was January 27th. So, my update. Uh, as long distance observers have been watching this comet, the projection is now, and again, nothing's guaranteed with comets, they can be very uh, temperamental, but right now they're projecting that it might get to a magnitude 5. That's awesome because the human eye, we can see under the right conditions out to a magnitude of 6. Anything less than that, a 5, is going to be better uh, for us. Now, with that said, if it gets to a 5, that solidly puts it within easily being binocular visible. If you have good dark sky and you have uh, you know decent eyesight yourself, uh, that should put it within naked eye visibility. Now what I've done to help you out is because January 27th is not going to be the only date available, but what I've done is went through Stellarium, I've plugged in some various dates and times, Take a look at the date and time window at the top of the Stellarium screen and you'll see these different dates and times and where the comet is located by the red cross that's on the screen. And so I'll go ahead and get myself out of the way. I'll let those images scroll through and you can check those out. Um, in the month of January, when I said the 27th, keep in mind uh, you'll see some mention of the comet being closer but remember, we're working around the moon coming into play. So that was why it said the weekend of the 27th is going to be ideally your best. Okay? So, if you like the uh, content and the information here at AstroVenture, please consider ringing the bell, subscribing, and sharing this video. And then uh, we would also love to see you over at our Facebook group, AstroVenture DSLR. Until next time, I wish you clear skies uneventful nights and now I'll get out of the way so you can check out the Stellarium screenshots and plan your future night of capturing this comet ZTF E3. Mm -hmm.